So how much am I getting paid for this? You're not getting paid for this, you're a mannequin. I'm part of the union. Okay, that's not even a thing. I'm sick of you telling me what to do. Honestly, I regret that I ever bought you on Amazon. I thought $80 was just a good deal. It was a horrible mistake. I just wish Rachel would come back. Rachel! Rachel, you're back. I am back. You were in Hawaii. Yeah, I didn't move to Hawaii. I was just on vacation. Oh. Who is this bitch? Who are you? I'm your worst nightmare, Becky. Um, I told you if you didn't come back, I was gonna replace you. Uh, do you understand how creepy this is right here? I kind of had a, it felt creepy, honestly, to be completely honest. Yeah. You should see his search history. Um, you can actually have your job back. Sure. Okay, sweet. And I want to raise. I've seen better acting in porno videos. Wait, what kind of video is this going to be? Alright. <laughs> Today on Brew News, controversial Super Bowl ad ruffles the stocks of corn superfans. And drunk people still doing things on Instagram. I'm Hoppy Barlow. And I'm Ivana Bruski, and this is Brew News. Like regular news, only drunker. Cheers. Cheers. All right, so one, Super Bowl commercial. And that's how you brew it. Um, my king, this corn syrup was just delivered. That's not ours. We don't brew Bud Light with corn syrup. Miller Light uses corn syrup. Let us take it to them at once. It's actually a pretty good commercial, honestly. We received your corn syrup by mistake. That's not our corn syrup. We received our shipment this morning. You're joking. Try the Coors Light Castle. They also use corn syrup. <sighs> to be clear, we brew Coors Light with corn syrup. Ah. Bud Light. Brewed with no corn syrup. All right. Okay. Yeah. Now, Interesting. People are mad. Farmers are mad, and like fans of corn are mad. So I, I think the argument that Bud Light is making is that they're brewed without corn syrup, which plays on the, I guess, recent trend of consumers not being into corn syrup. This is the story. There is apparently a difference between corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup. Uh -huh. Aha. Right? Okay. Yeah. And Miller and Coors use corn syrup or dextrose, not high fructose corn syrup. And it doesn't appear to matter anyway, because it will ferment out almost completely. Right. Corn sugar is super fermentable. Yeah. The corn syrup that would be in the Bud Light wouldn't wouldn't even be corn syrup. Yeah. Anymore. So like Miller and Coors. So it's just like a messaging thing, yeah. and it's BS, right? Right. Okay. right. So in Miller and Coors, who use corn syrup, the sugar, the corn syrup that they add. It's not there at when you drink it, it's been eaten by the yeast and turned into alcohol. Right, and which is how you make beer. It's actually a very useful ingredient in beer because it allows you to increase the ABV of the beer without adding body or really sweetness. It's a good commercial. I think it's yeah. funny. But genuinely, it's making people feel like there's a difference when there's not. I think it's a genuinely entertaining ad, but oh. I think the bigger trend and America right now mm -hmm. is American-made things, right? I think a good clapback, if you will, mm -hmm. by Coors and Miller would be to say, yeah, we use corn. What do you use again to... We're supporting local farmers, American farmers. Right, yeah, and yeah. Then, so you know what Bud Light uses in mm -hmm. place of corn? Mm -hmm. They use rice. Get out of here. They use rice. Do they import the rice, or is it grown in America? I bet you two didn't even bother to research this. Who is misleading who here? Historically, people used a lot of corn. When breweries were first getting started and established in America, people weren't brewing beer with rice. Mm -hmm. We brewed beer with what we had, which was actually six row barley, not two row, and corn really to kind of mellow the beer out a little bit. I just think it's funny like on a meta level that they even, they chose to frame this commercial using a historical, like people in castles. But really, in reality, when breweries were being established in the United States, they did use corn. That would have been the only thing they that used. Would have, yeah, barley, <laughs> yeah. six-row barley and yeah, some corn and, corn and whatever else they had access to. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Very un-American of you, Bud Light. That's funny coming from someone named Ivana. We should probably go to drunk people are doing things. Let's just do that for a minute. Just have fun. Okay. Yeah. Let's just, I need that, a fun thing. That got thing. a little intense. I need a fun thing. Now I'm, I'm thinking about like America way. and I'm like, what do we stand for? And like our values. And I'm just, it's just too many, just too many things for a Friday afternoon. Okay. Gotcha. I just need some carefree fun. Next on Brew News. Drunk people doing things. <laughs> cry, cry kick. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> That was amazing. She's like, she says, I'm okay. I'm all right, guys. Did she say that? I'm good, I'm good. Did she say that? No, no, look. Yeah, she's like, is that her drink? That's her phone, that's her phone. Good thing she saved it. Um. She's so athletic. <laughs> this is going to be hell. I'm going to fucking kill a crocodile. It's over there. Says I'm gonna kill a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> I Wait, think, what did he do? He say he was a crocodile? That's what I thought he said. I Wait, thought he said, This is, this is going to be hap. This is going to be hap. I'm going to kill a crocodile. It's right over there. Okay. I think that's the. Okay. That's my translation. I'm going to fucking kill a crocodile. It's over there. His running is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's so good at cardio. <laughs> he's just like, look at his run. That's even funnier than him falling. Is his run? Honestly, it looks like this is the first time he's like, ever been led outside. He's and like, that's a crocodile, his, right? Yeah, no, that's not what day. that is. This is his first day out. First day out in the world, a big boy. Oh my god, that bottle's way too big. No. <laughs> oh my god, my eyes are burning just looking at that. <laughs> VIP baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's so sanitized though, you know? Like a face wash. He got like a facial. Oh God, in his eyes. What does it feel like to have vodka in your eyes? Do you think it's just like straight alcohol? Oh, no. Like, do you think it burns? It has to I burn. Oh man. All right. Um, That's just an alcohol poisoning uh, waiting yeah. to happen. And like one swig, you're poisoned. Like yeah, the alcohol poisoning dude, is instant. This is at least his. <laughs> <laughs> it's like four shots dude. in one chug. So how'd you get rid of your pink eye again? <laughs> That's amazing. You don't want your absolute in it. <laughs> Got rid of it, antimicrobial. I feel like I know what's gonna happen here. Cigarette, this is a cigarette. Me, me, I don't smoke. Oh, oh no! Oh my god, I almost just puked. I almost just threw up. No, I can't see it again. I can't. <laughs> that is the. <laughs> the caption's the best. I don't Rachel. smoke after three drinks. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good caption. <laughs> that is good. I don't smoke. Is that a mannequin? Oh, uh, is it? That looks bad though. Let's check it out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what just happened? What did he do? Wait, do that again. Okay. I don't understand what's okay. happening. You're right. Are you yeah, okay? Yeah, I'm just crying. I just love drug people doing things. Yeah. So he. Oh, see. <clears throat> so he's got a, he's got a pool cue. I think. Oh, when it flies <laughs> off. It sticks into what? The dishwasher. Oh my God. <laughs> He's like, that's so Dude. bad. First of all, why are you doing that? Like, why is that it's a creepiest good idea? thing ever? I'm pretty sure this is workplace harassment. I mean, um. Was he trying to just knock her head off or something? Yeah, it is creepy. I that's a little bit like, yeah. Mm, creepy. Mm, yeah. Creepier than what you did here. Um, but With yeah. Her. Yeah, but what did you do? I, I gently escorted, her, I escorted her out of her the building. The floor. These drunk idiots forgot to film an outro, so it looks like I'm going to have to do it. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to the Floor Immer Supply channel for our future fruit day and brew news videos. Bye.